As we see, was mentioned, it's C++ code integration into Python, and today we are going to cover a few topics. So the first one will be why you see our C++ code in Python, which advantages or disadvantages it may give to us. We will cover two different ways how it may be done and discuss a few samples, uh, uh, how it uh, may be used and to see real life example. I was hoped I would say these things, but my hard drive is unpredictably working today. So I'll cover it with some screen demonstration. And uh, after that, we can discuss everything. And if you have any questions, I will, will, you will be glad to answer them. And uh, let's uh, begin. So why use a C++ code in Python? So there are three main reasons. Uh, the main one is you already have a large test and stable library written in C++ that you'd like to take advantage of Python. This may be a communication library or a library to solve some specific purpose in your project. For example, some math or geometry library for machine learning that will help you to test your model and uh, to speed up everything. And, and that's the second reason. You want to speed up a section of your Python code by converting a critical section to C++. And uh, not only C++ have a faster execution speed, but it also allows you to break free from limitations of the Python global implementation model. As we know, Python is written, was written on C and C++ many years ago, and uh, due to its uh, uh, writings and uh, built-in, it was uh, much slower than other programming languages. And only after Python 3.7, they start speed up in everything. And uh, if we check uh, how, for example, sorting works on two different uh, arrays with the same lengths, like one million elements, C++ you will deal with it more than 10 times quicker than regular Python code. And uh, to speed up your machine learning or some big data algorithm, you may easily use uh, sections of C++ code to make it easier for you. And the third reason is you want to use Python test tools to do large scaling testing of uh, your system. And uh, we have uh, uh, different ways to use our C++ port. The first is extend our Python, Python functionality with C++. That's process in which the user allows uh, built-in models in Python, if you know how to program in C. Such extensions can do two things and can be done directly in Python. Then can implement people objects types, and then can call C library functions and system calls. To support such extensions, uh, Python have its own AP called Python API, and it's defined the set of functions, macros, and vari variables that provide access to most aspects of our Python and system. The Python IP is incorporated in C source file by including the header Python C. So to use this way, you just need to include this header and to run in your linker or CMake file correct uh, a way to user or, or library folder where your Python is uh, set up. And uh, biggest use, it's uh, quite easy uh, to aid the the Python Boost library. And, uh, it's uh, like uh, extension of Python AP, it's based on it. And it's open framework, you may work with Python, it's in the same system, so you just download uh, Boost from internet, install it in your computer, and you have Boost Python uh, for all your needs. It have uh, all functions that you may use from Python. You even may cover some additional functionality from Python and your C++ if you investigate this slide correctly. And uh, it uh, extends the whole interface made by uh, uh, Python IP, which is in, uh, located in CPython uh, model, uh, which may be used also for working with Python and C++. And for example, if you're working with uh, just writing or Python IP, you require work with C types and CFFI library to write bigger code. And um, you should correctly access every variable and every function with its uh, variables, uh, 
and uh, it's much harder. So you now both of all of these uh, problems, and uh, you can extend your Python functionality using this boost. It's open source framework, as I sell it, and it's just the level which may be and downloaded from internet and um, it used uh, live bindings and in written is C in poor C++ and uh, no more tools, you need uh, just uh, this library and your compiler. So my simplest example was this hello world function. It was just function grid, which was enhanced with uh, this small uh, macros for boost Python model, and then we can say we just import our new model, which we built as library. And if we call the function from this model, which is imported as basic part of the Python model, we will have whole world. But unfortunately, I can't show you the example with uh, my coding how to change this library. So I will show you some information about it. So uh, we can easily install our uh, boost, you may say, and work with it. So to work with Python, you should run your b script, which was created after starting Bootstrap, but or Bootstrap SH script, depending on your platform, with additional prefix, which says that we would like to build everything for Python and to link uh, all information shown as in the bottom. Uh, let's create additional uh, DL file, uh, which we may use in building our uh, library. And uh, it helps us to properly work in this library. So first, it uh, is that uh, we don't pick anything at all with uh, this library and our just program C++ skills. Even junior programmer can easily do that. Uh, just talking about inheritance and other uh, Things, but uh, the biggest disadvantage is, uh, is that uh, it's rather will work correctly for the first try or won't work at all, and you will never know why. You just should uh, check all internet around, and you probably will never find even the solution because you just have one variable which was not written in your code and correctly. And, uh, for each person, it's their own problem, which is not written in internet because uh, these uh, solutions for using uh, Boost Python is all in progress now and in active development. So not everything is covered. And after running your Bootstrap uh, uh, script from Boost library and installing uh, it with Python reference, we can, uh, you can switch to writing your code. So I was working on so program, which you may see it's just basic graphic algorithm for uh, geometry. We say we have point struct and we have vector struct. And we have basic constructor, basic function for getting position of our point and uh, length of our vector, and just basic operator for adding two vectors into one. And um, it's just kind of thing, uh, you may say, because we have uh, simple function, simple constructor, uh, simple operator. And with these solutions, we can cover most of your questions how to work with uh, this code. So uh, we may say that to cover just function rules, it will in basic simple example. We should just uh, use our macros and define our functions whole in our code and pass our function. With classes, it works uh, different. We should not only define our class separately, but to set every function or variable in, a, in particular by its own define. Uh, so if you would like to have some variable from your structure uh, or class in the only way, so it may be set on all with your constructor, you may say, and then never be Changed like that variable, we can say that define is read only and pass this variable to our uh, method from this. And if you would like to work with the variable as read write, you should define it in its own way. Of course, uh, we have uh, setters and gadgets, and we also may be just defined as basic functions. But uh, it also, if you work with structures, for example, and we have no such way to use getter and setter with our outer code, 
um, to define exactly. If you are speaking about constructions, which uh, you may check on this uh, uh, screenshot of uh, there's a constructor which uh, gets two points and just seven. Uh, we have some other way to use it, not a function we have seen before. It's defined in a for our Python and our Python. And the second word it should take as in basic class if you're using. For example, if you were speaking about uh, C, you should say init and pass in the scope of C. If you're speaking about function, it's uh, the same way as what we use uh, just regular uh, variables, uh, just saying the name and uh, by, by reference. Uh, uh, this matter from our uh, class. For speaking about operators, it's different. Uh, we should define it in Python way. So Python also has Python only. And we are just typing that we override this operator. And we say that we override, override it uh, on our own class. And this operator is class. So we are saying that. If you would like to overload operator for different type, we should write self class and for example, geometry point. And to use uh, we call it uh, 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 all pair, I would like to cover all aspects of all pair and we call it encapsulation. So you may ask me. How it would work with uh, inheritance and the uh, polymorphism if I have four virtual functions. It's interesting, and uh, not all collaborators support this simple Python. For example, you know, basically, this is defined as a virtual function, and uh, it may be from a uh, full virtual function. Uh, but uh, I think we have to compare some of these libraries with Python extension. Yeah, by default, it could be with some code of the world. And when we speak about overriding the past and the present, how we have to function, we should write how we could use it in the year of the last from our library, get override, and saying that we are overriding the function now. And uh, put this uh, function in our variable, variable. We could not only write it how we would like to use it, and then we can grab it to the following variable. We should also maybe pass reference to the default implementation for our virtual variable. Yeah. And we can take all the functions that we want to do for our current class, we can use both from uh, our. Uh, uh, before implementation. Each now just implementation or just implementation. Or based on different versions of this I'm so sorry, Michaelo. Uh, can you please speak closer to your laptop? And because we have some issues with the sound. Okay, so uh, if, if we are speaking about just how we work with our uh, model, so when we define our model, we pass a class name. It will be the name for our model, which we use to give by them. As a basic model, for example, mass uh, and some other stuff, it is simply to us a basic one. And uh, we, have, we may have different uh, models in the same file, for example. Or in the same way, for different purposes. And uh, when we think uh, our import is for Python code, we just write import the name of our Wolf Python model, which we build uh, in our state library in this example. And then call method, which we define in our uh, model. So if you may see, we have this one to and then, of course, we can write the classes point hello. 
and you go to this one. You also can recommend it. It's uh, easy to run. The right hand for your class or for the calendar to read your name. And then we change to some meaning, more meaning for your Python code. Um, yeah, so it's easier to read. So you can just do a show or read function and call it from your phone, and you will have a message to call. Then you can create a basic uh, stuff and all kinds of stuff pointing to the name of our uh, uh, session. Because we have more and more, uh, more contacts and we want to define the name, you can just call it is uh, uh, our. And work with its own switch of the divine in this model. And by working with operators, we can develop a modern class system of. We're going to show you about the board's uh, only construction for the wind will be its uh, one year. And that's probably very difficult to come on the front. And if you're speaking about the models, in Python, this is a bunch of users in these users, and the problem with it is equal to plus one, and it's um, just extending by the beginning of the ground, this is another thing. It's not like uh, adding substitute or existing application. It's embedding and inserting calls to your C code from the, your Python environment. And that's the uh, biggest problem is that uh, Python is a uh, quite interactional language, and we are already working with embedding the report. And uh, not well, really using it as if you are using it more finally, it can be debugged at all. So you have a black box which is working sample, and any result you can be blocked or used in any other way, you should return back to your memory and check everything by your own. And write additional tests to see what from finding the point of view is passing and done for this. And the thing for the people is, as I mentioned about, just for these city types and in the book. And in this example, we will speak about the uh, uh, dynamic version. So we will just work with taking our library, which for in this example, we use as just multiplication library for multiplication and two functions, and just add one and move to the one. And we should uh, take absolute pass to our file uh, library or um, place it in our Python project and build it into one library. Uh, so the result is library with our library. And then we can switch to working with this library. So this library is very simple, but one method. Which is mode, uh, it's a multiplicator number for and um, it covers all other arguments which may exist during this functionality. So, as the disadvantage is that you should have uh, always all the interface for anything to have with C support to do this embedded version. And if you are speaking about this multiplication, this is if you have two to pass and four. So, so why basic Python code, code, code if you have four values, which may be assigned to six and uh, two to one system. And if you are uh, uh, specifying our um, uh, this uh, library, library, we will have uh, argument error that we don't know how to convert parameters to rule. That's because we don't have uh, uh, text as well, it can double. And in order that we use uh, uh, such uh, uh, methods, we should pass our variable into C type, C type model, which is built in Python. And the fact that we would like to cast our variable from double to four by C type forward. And only after that, we may 
is in the build and how it will work more to give your print our result. We will have, have uh, like, uh, have to look uh, interesting uh, value. Well, what do you think? Um, but here we will be setting by thing. thing. And this is how the build is that you should also ask your result type into which you start. By, 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 by default, it is return uh, in the and it comes back, back to the uh, I don't know. Thank you.